Hello, I'm Dan Deceiver. I'm an amateur voice actor, and I do a lot of auditioning for casting calls. So, I work with a lot of people that are inspired to make great stories and projects with others as well. Many people want to start, but a lot don't know where to begin with the story they want to make and how to get voice actors. So, I decided to make a basic instructional video on making a casting call and working with voice actors. Just to quickly note, this video isn't meant to be taken too seriously or as the perfect way to get started. If my suggestions don't work for you, then that's fine. You can look for other resources online, or follow your own path on making your project. This is all my opinion. I hope to do more videos like these in the future to help out those starting out like I was years ago, and want to improve over time. So if you like this video, leave a comment below and maybe send me some ideas and suggestions. Now, let's start. You have the entire project planned out, from the characters, settings, ideas, everything you want it to be. Now, you just need to look for people to work with you. First of all, you need a document. One that contains information about the specifications. Keep a set of rules at the top pages so auditioners should read over before they think about wanting to try out. It can be basic rules such as age minimums for those that should be allowed to audition as that depends on the content of the project that may be too mature for young people. Mostly clean audio with no background noise. Must be willing to work on the project and turn things in. A deadline to when the casting call will be over. It's not always necessary to have a date to where it ends, especially if you have a lot of characters that need voices or not many people are auditioning. Just make sure there's plenty of time to where people can audition, but not too long where it can delay production, which I recommend for about a month and a half. And of course, contact information to where they can send in their auditions and for when they have the role. While those are the basics of rules, there are certain things I'd like to discuss that I'd like to give my perspective on. Most casting calls will always want to work with people that have Discord only. Otherwise, they can't work with them. While I do think Discord is a great platform that helps gather various people all over the world with easy connections, it's not always going to be necessary for everyone, or probably the most reliable. Not every person will have it maybe available to them. And sometimes you need to flex your contacts so everyone can be accessible. Which means using more platforms such as Hangouts, email, social media PMs, all of that where someone will find you and want to audition and eventually voice for your project. Another I'd like to discuss is gender auditioning. Is it fine for someone to audition for a character of the opposite gender? Yes, it can be fine. In the world of voice acting, people can play someone of the opposite gender as long as it's not offensive and fits the character in performance. But characters of pride should be played by those voice actors of pride as it gives them a chance to play those that they relate to. Non-binary characters can be played by non-binary actors. Trans characters can be played by trans actors. Although they themselves shouldn't be restricted to just those LGBTQ roles. They can still do hetero or cis characters. Like I said, in the world of voice acting, everyone can play who they want to play, as long as it's not offensive and is respected. Finally, if you're an amateur creator with no money to pay for the people involved, make sure to state that it's not going to be a paid project. If you do have money to give to the crew members, make sure it's balanced on the roles by main characters, secondary, and background. Make sure they're paid with each episode and on the spot and that when it comes time where all the VAs are hired, they'll sign a contract or agreement on payment when and how much. Now that I've gone over rules of the document, let's go over character lines for people to audition for. When preparing lines for VAs to say, the character must have a small description of their backstory, personality, their specific voice details, and sometimes examples if you have an existing voice in mind and want to see if VAs can match it. Although, not everyone will be a perfect match, so it's better to look for those that are close enough. Have a quick drawing of the character's design, and this is important, make sure that the ideal voice matches their look along with the image for the voice actor to get a key idea of. It can be with expressions, body size, and color. Visual representation helps greatly with those that can interpret what they can make off of. Don't be overly detailed to where it can become too nitpicky and difficult, but not too vague where it feels there is no key direction on what VAs can do to audition. Finally, there are character lines. There should at least be a minimum of about three lines to audition for that has a variety of tones. Every line must be at a different emotion, tone, or volume to let the VAs use their flexibility on the character and see if they're a right fit. As I mentioned earlier though on visual representation, those lines must match with the character's personality to where it expands their voice, but not too large as in may break character. If there is a shy character that has an audition line where they're angry and must scream, they can't be overly too loud or angry as it breaks their signature look and description, because restrictions value creativity. Repeat this with all the other characters, and now you have a document for auditions. All you need to do is share it around. There are simple ways to do this. Make a YouTube video explaining the project, the rules, characters, and of course have all the information including the document in the description below. Another would be Casting Call Club. This is a bit iffy as I'm not at all familiar with the site itself as I don't have an account, 
and yet see a lot of people use it. I recommend looking into it and looking to figure out yourself if the platform is useful. There is posting it on your social media account or on Discord servers including your own. Although, it is good to be mindful and not go up to random VAs begging for them to audition for the series. Don't spread it in the wrong channels or spam it constantly. People will find you and want to decide if they can audition or not. It just takes patience. Let's say auditions begin to come in. You get some good voice auditions and want to hire them. But if there are others that sound just as great that you want to hire as well, then you should keep them as a backup. It's good to keep backup VAs just in case the main ones won't be available for an episode or haven't turned in lines yet. Keep those backups close so they can be useful and have the chance to not delay production, but also give them a chance in the spotlight if someone unfortunately couldn't reach a deadline. Once you decide all the VAs and backups, you should announce that the casting call is over and that you have chosen who will be involved. Make sure to privately contact them saying that they have the part and look for ways to still discuss with them to keep in touch like how I mentioned earlier. So, the casting call is pretty much over. Everyone is gathered around and you have prepared everything. At least I hope you do. Because despite all the anticipation with creating a series, there needs to be preparation to be ready for all this work. Especially for a series or large project. You should have an entire script prepared before making the casting call. As once you have an entire script prepared, you can give that to all the VAs so they can get into recording and you can set up a deadline for all their lines to be needed. If you don't have an entire script completed, that can be fine. At least have the first draft of a script finished before making the casting call so you have time to make it and work off the people you will cast based on the voices. Have basic sketches and storyboards completed as well as some background so that things aren't being done on the spot. And make sure the deadline is long enough for VAs to have time to record. I recommend about a month worth for the VAs to record their lines, and if they cannot reach it, give them about a few weeks extension, especially if they have a good reason to not send them in yet. Have everything planned out. If you don't work off of what goes on in the moment and figure things out slowly building a plan before taking action, especially before making the casting call, you can do much more when the time comes to begin production. Worth mentioning that, I also want to address your own obstacles you need to face if you want to get into this. Doing this will not be easy. The work you put into the project you strive to make will take a piece of you, and you'll have to physically and mentally prepare yourself for that. The same can be applied to the other crew members as well as working with you. Like you, they'll have to put aside their job, school, or personal life in order to reach that deadline. Don't put your expectations too high to where it can burn you and others out. Keep yourself grounded and prepare for the struggles you may face with the work you're going to have to carry. Maintain a good relationship with the people you'll work with and try to keep them updated so they won't lose faith in your goal. Talk with them and understand each other. Maintain a healthy relationship and be mindful about all of this. It may be slow, it may be hard, but the best can come from it. In the end, we all have to try our best to get work done and complete certain goals despite the challenges we face. That includes our goals and expectations. Be smart and be ready for all of it, because the quality might make up for it in the end. I hope that this video helped you out about this and that you're a lot more informed about wanting to make the project you anticipate. You may not like all the suggestions, but these are all my thoughts and opinions, and you can go over it how you like. If you like this video and want to see more useful tips on the work I do like this, comment below or contact me on ideas or future videos. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.